it. Let me shift the screen. So guys, is it clear? Simply I am grouping the logins guys. Okay, I am not doing anything. Remaining everything is same. I am just creating a group in Windows level. Okay, again there is no group login concept in the SQL server. Technically you are creating a Windows login only. But while creating Windows login, you can either give individual login name or group login name that's it if you give group login name and if you choose sql authentication it won't allow you okay this group login concept is there only for windows authentication first thing second thing is either you can give individual person name or you can give group name so group is the windows level concept okay once windows people created the windows group then we'll create a, a windows login i mean like in the sql server they'll create a uh, windows authentication login for them that's it guys is it clear windows uh, uh, group login everyone if you have any questions please let me know guys is it clear or not yes are you able to hear me Yes, sir. Yeah. But my question is, uh, yeah. so this group uh, uh, logins only uh, useful for Windows authentication, right now, sir? But for right. uh, dev developers, we need to go for individual uh, username, uh, individual login creation. Is it correct see, or any option? Yeah. It's not like there's a developers also. See, Windows login group, remember one thing, okay? Windows login. SQL login permissions wise, there is no difference. Okay. Whatever a SQL login can do, a Windows login can do. Whatever a Windows login can do, a SQL login can do. If I gave sysadmin permissions to both logins. Yes. Okay. If I gave sysadmin for this Windows login, if I give sysadmin for SQL login, they both are equal. Why we we'll use yes. Windows authentication means DBS will have windows level activities like copying the backup files creating the folders creating the files that's why windows dbs will connect to the server remotely okay to the windows server directly that does it mean developers always connect to the sql server using sql authentication only they also can connect using windows authentication Okay, they also can connect using Windows authentication. What they will do for Windows authentication? Simply same SSMS client will be there. Windows authentication means don't think they they can connect to the Windows servers. No. Yeah, they are thinking same concepts so actually. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, you can avoid that. That's why I shown you uh, that different uh, user account, different user uh, account. So in the different no, user concept, true. SSMS, if you open with a different user, you can give Windows account name you can give the password so that the developer can connect directly from his laptop. Windows no, means clear, but don't think that no. uh, you have to log into the Windows server, then only Windows authentication will work. No, of yeah. course, that, 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 that is true. The point is valid point. But here, instead of logging into the Windows server, you are opening SSMS in your laptop. That is also Windows authentication, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, till now we understood that windows authentication means we need to log into server so server, server have or laptop to use this yeah. right Ser server, server or laptop no. you, the correction is yeah. server or laptop even though you, you logged into your laptop that is also windows authentication yeah correct so now i understood sir thank you sir yeah so sir, any other questions yes please sir, um, sir without uh, if it is Windows authentication means first we have to connect to that Windows only. That's what I said. Windows only. That point is clear. But either that Windows can be your laptop or can be the server. Okay. So if you ask me, sir, how developers will connect as a Windows authentication? 
developers will open SSMS with run as different user and they will give their own account credentials. Okay. Sir, run as, for run uh, as different account, uh, you have selected SQL Server authentication, no, sir. Selected what? SQL Server authentication, no, sir. Don't mix both. So for run as different user, I didn't select SQL authentication to show you Windows login, how it will work. Then I opened SSMS with run as different user. For SQL login, I just click on this connect button. I gave the username and password and I just, it was connected like this. I just selected SQL authentication. Why I will use, okay, run as different user for SQL authentication. I'll simply choose SQL authentication. It will allow us to give username and password. See, don't think in that way, in a different way. Whatever the point is there that they have to connect to the Windows server. The correction is no need to connect to the Windows server, but they will log into their laptop, right? That is also Windows machine, right? Using Windows authentication. See, once you got the office laptop, they will create an account for you. Agree? Yes. Right? You can log into your laptop using that account only. Okay. okay. Right? Is it clear? You will log oh, into yes. the office laptop using that account only. That is called what? What is that type of authentication? You are logged into your Windows laptop. What is the type of authentication? Sir, Windows desktop. Windows only. There is no again desktop server authentication and all. Windows means Windows authentication. Either that is a desktop or Windows server authentication. Sir. Okay. So instead of directly logged into the Windows server, now you are logged into your Windows laptop using Windows authentication. Okay. If you are using same account, if your login is created, the same login is created. Let me explain you with example. Imagine Basha, right? What is your full name? Mahabub Basha. Mahabub Basha. M Basha. Imagine like this. They will create an account for you. So this is your Windows account. With this account, you will log into the company laptop. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Right. So sometimes if you want to connect to the SQL servers, they will use the same m.basha. Okay. Or they will create a separate account like uh, um, uh, some separate account. Some uh, will sometimes will call in my last to last organization. I use it to call uh, a dash accounts, a dash m.basha. I'm just giving example. Okay. So, this is just account name a dash accounts we'll call them as a dash accounts okay so this a dash account is will help you to connect to the server in the windows level so if you open if you connect if you just logged into the laptop usually you can see m dot basha in your ssms you don't do like that you have to open ssm it will run as different user then you will give a dot m basha and then a dash a dash m dot basha and you will give this password so that the SSMS will open with run as a different user. And then you are able to connect to the SQL server. For this, I don't need to connect to the Windows server directly. From your laptop right. itself, you can still use Windows authentication. I want to say from your laptop itself, you can still use Windows authentication. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Yeah, clear. Right. Okay. Fine. And what is that? Yeah. Group login. Right. So group login. Uh, what I have, actually group login also is the responsibility of the Windows team. Uh, like Windows login. Right. Group login means group Windows login. So Windows team has to create a group. They have to add all the users to the group. Once it is completed, they will let us know. Windows team will let us know. Hey, this group is created. They will update in the ticket. Once we saw the update in the ticket, we will create a windows login for the particular people in the sql server so first what we'll do let's create three users guys let's let's take three users from this batch okay first we'll go with alphabetical order anil reddy ankoji and priyanka okay these three people are on top let's create three users new user anil reddy I'm just creating three DBS guys, just for the, you can create one, two also, no issues. Ankoji. Okay. 
this will be done by the windows team guys we don't create any users groups in the windows level windows team will do that and priyanka priyanka guys it is not rocket science guys very simple thing if you are trying to understand i hope you are not asking any doubts if you don't understand let me know otherwise again you have that cloud that you don't have like anything and again if you don't practice uh, immediately uh, security is a very very big topic if you practice immediately it's very small topic very easy topic right now let's create groups in this section i can only create users let's go to group section let's create group right click new group okay here i have to give sql dba you can give any name guys sql dba group okay I have to add members, right? I have created three three DBS, right? I'll add all these three DBS here. Uh, Anil, right? Anil, uh, what is that? Anil complete name? Anil Reddy, na? Anil Reddy. Anil Reddy. Anil Reddy. Anil Reddy. Let me click on check names. It is not showing. Okay. Uh, let me give space. Space. Uh, right. Anil Reddy. Semicolon. Okay, and the other guy, Ankoji, semicolon, Priyanka. You can add all people at a time by giving semicolons, okay? If you give correct name, it will take. If you give wrong name, it won't take. Okay, Priyanka, I just gave you a wrong name, so that's why it is throwing the error. Priyanka, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, Priyanka. What happened? Maybe I gave the wrong name there. Okay. Sir, in the... Uh, here, yes, sir, there is. Three, A, N, K. A, Y, A, Y, A, Y, you have given. Okay, there like that, I gave, okay. A, Y, A, N, K. Right, very good, thank you. Okay, now click OK. Now these three people are DBS, I am creating a, a group. Later, you can add extra DBS to this group. Or, Ankoji got a new opportunity. Now he will left the organization, I will simply remove him. I means who? Uh, Windows team will remove Ankoji from this group so that Ankoji cannot, okay? Ankoji cannot connect to any of the SQL servers once he left the organization. Let's create, okay? That's it. Group is created now. Now group is ready, guys. Now what I have to do? Simply I have to create Windows login for this group. Initially I just selected an individual login for Vibe. Now I have to select a group login. That's it, okay? Search. Click on the search button for Windows login. Oh, it is taking time. Right, okay. Search. Simply I have to give SQL DBA. What is the group name? SQL DBA, right? SQL DBA. Check names. You will get this error like this. If you are searching groups instead of individual names, select this object types, select these groups also, so that it will search from the groups, existing groups, then check names. Now you see here, computer name slash group name, click OK. That's it, click OK guys. Nothing. That's it. Now all the people inside this group can connect to this SQL server. I don't want to create any separate login for Priyanka. I don't want to create any separate login for Ankoji. I don't want to create any separate login for Anil Reddy. See here, they are not there, but still they can connect to SQL Server. Okay, because of this group login. Okay, let me close this. I'll try to open run as different user. Okay, I'll show you whether they are able to connect or not. Shift plus right click, run as different user. Here I'll give Priyanka name. PRI. Right, I'm I'm giving the password. One, two, three. Right now, if I click connect, see here username slash Priyanka, a uh, computer name slash Priyanka. Click connect, Priyanka is able to connect. 
then you might ask sir you said okay this login should present inside the logins list but i don't see priyanka here right if you see here this is the login right this is the login computer name slash priyanka and if you see here there is no priyanka here how priyanka is able to connect to the sql server she is in the group she is in the group if you have a doubt right click new query you want to see what who are the group members are there in this group there is a query okay uh, by using that query you can find out the group members who are there in this group what is that can anyone tell me xp underscore login info okay group name you can drag and drop comma members if you execute this query you can see all the people that are there in this group and already ankoji priyanka okay only these three people can connect to the sql server right is it clear guys so if you see anyone in this list if you don't see anyone in this list but if still they are connecting they are able to connecting what is the meaning they might be a member of any group clear is it clear guys everyone Yes. Shanmo. Yes, please. What is the com uh, the command XP means abbreviation for XP? Ah, uh, no. Till now, I also didn't uh, work on it. What is XP? XP. There are some commands XP stored procedures. XP. I have to check. Uh, I thought in the command box, if we if we enter CPL means control panel like that. There may there may there may there will be. an abbreviation for xp right uh, i never saw that one i'll check and i'll update you okay i never okay. worked on this uh, yeah yeah guys is it clear about group login how you identify group whether this login is a group login or windows login or sql login how you are able to identify guys by just looking the login names there are different icons okay icons first okay so if it is a windows login you can see computer name slash person name or group name and if it is a sql login you can see only individual name if it is a group login you can see server with two persons server with two persons means this is a group login in this that means there are lot of people inside that group okay guys is it clear everyone group login sir, windows that, login yes yes sir that okay. means uh, whether he is a developer or dba if he hmm. has windows authentication windows level authentication means then only we can add in the group no sir correct correct that's it i b can say our uh, windows login that's why we have to take for sorry your voice is low that's why we are taking uh, logins are for Login authentication or sole responsibility of Windows. Why? Because they are la uh, Windows login. Ah, that's okay. Yeah, correct. You are you are correct. Okay. Uh, Windows login, especially this Windows login group logins. Uh, it's the respond responsibility of the Windows team. Uh, so that's why we yes. are getting information from the them. Correct. Okay. That's why we have to depend on them. Okay. Yes. Any questions, guys? Ah, uh, what is the cross symbol under users? Ah, uh, like S C A. Cross symbol. Ah, uh, okay. Cross means this login is disabled. Okay, if you see here, uh, the, uh, if you don't see any cross symbol, all the logins are enabled. And if you see cross symbol, means it is disabled. Okay. You cannot yeah, use it. We... First, you have to enable it. Right click properties. You can enable it. Okay, by going to the sir uh, status. you can see login enabled okay you have to click on enabled and you have to click okay then the login will be enabled okay. right now you see here it was gone good question sir sa means system admin no sir ah uh, you can call this is admin system admin okay sir what, what is it what is it sir where is that who are we Hashtag hashtag MS policy. Yeah, these these are the certificates logins. Okay, SQL Server will use some certificates to connect to the SQL Server. These are the certificates logins. 
by default you will get it below sir nt means nt these are also virtual service account i told you right service account should be there okay if service account uh, uh, it has to connect to the server it has to write the data to the database it has to read the data from the database so each service will have different different service accounts right so these are the service accounts okay this okay. is for sql server this is that for agent in this is service for... account yes with this service accounts only sql server is able to write the data to the database and read the data from the database any login that you are connecting to the sql server should have an entry here okay so even the service account service accounts are going to connect right if they want to read the data write the data first they have to connect right so connection means what you should have a login so that's why when you install automatically these service accounts logins will be created sir while installation you have said that uh, we can make customized service accounts also that Correct. means here we will make here we will make not here account. not here there is a different see customized service account means it's nothing but a person see if you recruit one guy and if you gave a designation of sql dba he will give will become sql dba if you recruit a guy if you gave a designation of team lead he will become team lead or manager right because of his role he is become manager or lead or dba some other might be okay in the same way but that guy is not a, a manager for every time in the in the home he is not a manager he is a person right the same way service account is also a person i can make vibo as a service account okay i created this why, why because he should be a user at the end of the day he should be a user okay so vibo i can make as a service account i am just giving a designation to vibo hey you should be a service account i'll change it in the services then vibo will become a service account means first vibo account should be there then means one user account should be there that user you can change it to service account it's very simple simply go to configuration manager and either from configuration manager you can change it or from services.msc also you can change it services.msc go to any service with service account you want to change go to the sql server services yes okay let me keep it in alphabetical order yes and go to sql server double click on it and go to log on here you see here ms sql server see 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 here Okay, the same login, right? Entity service MS SQL Server. I don't want this login. Okay, chalo browse. I'll give Vibo as a service account. Give Vibo as Vibo is already created. Check names. Vibo will get click. Okay, automatically the service account will be created as a Vibo, guys. Okay, if you give some other name, if I if I gave like this, okay. If I gave some, uh, uh, what I can say, Basha. Okay. So tell me if I give Basha, is it going to work? No, sir. Why? In that there, in that list, uh, my name is not. See, in this list, not not in this list. You should be in this users Windows. list. Okay, in Windows this Windows. list, Windows users list. Okay, this is how it, you can change. And once you change the service account, you have to restart the SQL Server, guys. Changing service accounts needs restart. It's a downtime activity. Please don't change whenever you want. Take the approval and change it if there is a need. Right? Clear. In the, in the organization, they will use this NT service accounts or uh, customized. Customized service accounts, sir. That's why I told you customized service accounts. Okay. But uh, it depends. That's their own wish. For non-prod servers, they will use uh, this default accounts. For prod servers, they might use customized service. Accounts. For only for post processing, sir. That's you can say like that. Only we are allowing, we are recruiting one dedicated person for the SQL related activities and all. So processing will be good. Data processing and all will be will be good. So um, for that purpose, we are going to use customized services. Okay. Any questions, guys? Sir, about two logins, sir. Token login, sir. These two, yes, correct. Token logins are you can say called as a certificates logins also. Some certificates will be there. Every software will run on based on the certificates, guys. It will verify the certificates and all. For this, okay, these two logins are certificate logins. We don't need to concentrate on these default logins, guys. No issues. Okay, no one will ask. Yeah. Okay. 
चलो देन आई वॉन्ट टू गिव एक्सेस टू एनी लॉग इन ऑन एनी डेटा बेस हाउ टू हाउ टू डू दैट ओके राइट नाउ इफ यू सी हियर वाई बाओ कैन नॉट एक्सेस एनी ऑफ द डेटा बेस राइट चलो now if i want to give see the process is same once is the person of the sql server either windows login sql server login the process is same giving access to any database is same process okay so logins but listen carefully only those who being who is having access that person only can give access to others by bo cannot promote him as a sysadmin by himself he cannot promote him as a sysadmin by himself he cannot take his own permissions those who are having sysadmin permissions can give sysadmin permissions to vibo okay is it clear guys see if you have 100 rupees if you want to give 100 rupees to me first of all you should have 100 rupees right if you don't have 100 rupees how can you give 100 rupees to me right if you want to give access to some other persons first of all you should have access then only you can give same access you can give same 100 rupees to me you cannot give 200 if you have 100 rupees what access you have the same access you can give to others okay so it it will work like that so if you see here security vibo cannot see other logins and all vibo can see only two logins one is sc login one is vibo log why because why sir he is sql server authentication if he is sql server authentication he cannot see other logins i think no it's wrong windows login windows login sql no 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 sir what is it sir sir in the windows he is not there no sir in the windows no no why why you can see push. only two logins why he cannot see all see the server is same the same server here administrator is connected here vibo is connected but here administrator can see lot of logins but vibo cannot see all the logins he can see only two logins why he is not tbn sir hmm he is not uh, database administrator is not see, full permission did, did we mentioned anything uh, administrator as a dba somewhere or anywhere else he oh, is right. owner of that administrator is owner of this uh, sql server right permissions okay permissions issue vibo doesn't have complete permissions that's why vibo cannot see other logins to see other logins also you should have permissions vibo is just a login we don't have any we don't gave any access to vibo till now so that's why vibo then you can ask why sa he can see sa is a default login okay uh, any person those who is having a minimum access to the sql server can see two logins one is his login and another one is sa login sa is the default login so sysadmin is a default login that's why you can see sysadmin he cannot see other logins the answer is due to permission issue vibo cannot see other logins right chalo now as i said vibo cannot give his own access and all let me continue okay you can ask the questions see now this person only can give this means this administrator can give access to other people why because this administrator is a sysadmin by default he is a sysadmin if you go to server roles you can see here sysadmin okay sysadmin will have all the permissions so that he can give permissions to others also okay right fine now how to give access to vibo on any database double click on vibo go to user mapping on which database you need access is your select as your once i gave once i selected the database if you see here if you see here as of now you don't see any user right if i selected the database see here who is creating guys who is creating who is creating what is the you, If you see here, if you select this Azure database, who is creating here? In the Azure database, which object is creating? User. 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 Viber. User is creating. I told you right. If you gave access on any database, please mute it. I'm getting echo. 
right okay if you are giving access on any database by default a user will be created that's what we discussed in the last diagram last class with the diagrams okay so i am giving access to vibo on azure database so that's why vibo user is creating the azure database in the user list you don't see anyone if i click okay now you see vibo user will be created in the azure database see here vibo user is created so this vibo user will help this vibo login okay this vibo user will help this vibo login so that this one this one okay this user will help that vibo login this this one is a parent and this user is a child guys so as i gave access to vibo one azure database now vibo can access the azure database earlier he got the error right while accessing now he is able to access azure database but he cannot access other databases azure2 he cannot access batch 44 he cannot access mintra he cannot access only i gave access on azure database that's why he is able to expand azure okay otherwise for other databases it throws error right error right not accessible not accessible like that you can see like this okay database is your two is not accessible means what means you don't have permissions he has only access on azure database clear guys how to give access on any database very simple okay select that particular login double click on it go to user mapping whatever database you want to give select that database and click okay that's it now earlier he is unable to access azure2 right now if you refresh now he is able to access azure2 but he cannot access batch 44 and all this is how you can do okay access to any login on any the process is same guys sir how to give access to windows login how to give access to sql login how to give access to group login no the process is same group login or windows login or sql login any login double click on it okay now in my case if see here this is priyanka right this is priyanka session priyanka is unable to open any of the database she is getting error right while well, click on when you click on plus symbol now if i gave access to where is this login on? double click on this group group there is no priyanka now go to user mapping is your database now refresh it the priyanka session this is databases now i got error earlier now i am able to expand the database i cannot access other databases i will get the error so this is how it will work giving access process is same okay windows login sql login windows login i mean group login the process is same okay but the way you are using is somewhat different right now if you open if priyanka is trying to open sg2 she cannot uh, access the sg2 database okay this is how it will work guys is it clear giving access on any database is it clear everyone sir in the group you have given the permissions no sir for for that particular database yes for one for every person every person that's why that's what they, i didn't selected priyanka anywhere i gave access to group means all this group group who are there in this group all three people anil reddy ankoji and priyanka they can connect to our, uh, that is your database Sir, in the group, uh, some people has to connect to some database, some people has to connect to some database, not possible. I told you, right, it will yeah, act as a Windows login only. The group, again, you cannot differentiate permissions. If you give access on the group level, all the persons, okay, can utilize that access. If you remove the access from that group, all the persons will lose the access from the SQL server. We can't give different permission for different. No, permission. not possible. Yes, here if you see here, Anil Reddy, Amkoji, Priyanka, all three, either we, these three people will have same access, or these three people won't have any access. Any questions?
राइट right, चलो देन वॉट वी हैव टू डिस्कस नाउ इज सर्वर रोल्स ओके द सिक्योरिटी वी हैव सर्वर रोल्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके आई डोंट टेक मच टाइम कंप्लीट एज वेल एज पॉसिबल मेनली वन आर टू सर्वर रोल्स वील यूज रेगुलरली अदर सर्वर रोल्स वी डोंट यूज इट ओके सो वॉट इज मेन बाई दिस रोल रोल वट इज द रोल role is nothing but collection of permissions okay role is nothing but collection of permissions okay collection of permissions you can call it as a role guys okay we have two types of roles one is server role okay and database role in the server role again we have two types of roles default server roles and customized server roles in the database role also same default database roles customized db roles right so it will work like that we'll discuss all these things default means when you when you install the sql server you will get some roles those are the default server roles or fixed server roles okay default server roles or fixed server roles why this is fixed server role okay listen carefully guys i told you right role is a collection of permissions this bulk admin already will have some set of permissions bulk admin role will have set of permissions for example say if you go to the bank there are different people will be there manager will be there cashier will be there okay uh, loan officer will be there different different people will be there manager will have some responsibilities right agree manager will have some set of rules or duties protocols you can call it as a protocols or roles so if i if if you are selected for sbi bank if they nominated you as a manager whatever roles are there all the roles will be attached to you right agree what a manager will do all the roles will be attached to you means you are added to the manager role agree guys everyone you are added to the manager role okay the meeting is going to close now please reopen the same link we'll connect again